Hey there, Mouseketeers! Kate from Princess Minnie here. Welcome back to Vlogmas. It's day 15! So before we get to today's gift guide, let's go ahead and move our star to the 15th pocket. Today's video is a gift guide for people who want nothing. And I put it in quotes because they might really want nothing or they might just be saying they want nothing because they can't think of anything to tell you. I know my husband is one of those people with others. Usually I just know what to get for him um, and every once in a while he'll have an idea. But if anyone else asks him, oh, nothing, you know, but there are things he wants. He just doesn't know it. <laughs> So while I don't necessarily think that everybody is going to find things they love on this list, I try to make this a very varied list. I also try to include only items from Amazon, so that way if you like something that I talk about here, I will link to it in my description box and I am in no way affiliated with or linked to any of these products, um, so these are just things that I thought were cool. And finally, you might just use some of these ideas as inspiration and go off and find your own things. And definitely feel free to put your own comments and suggestions as gifts for people who want nothing in the comments below so that anybody reading the comments can get some more ideas. And then at the end of this video, we will do our advent calendars, so stay tuned for that. The first category of gift for those who want nothing would be to actually get them nothing, uh, but to donate to a charitable organization in their name. And so I got that idea because we donated a couple of toys to Toys for Tots, and for every toy that we donated, Disney sent us this little uh, card that said thank you for purchasing a toy to be donated to toys for tots so I thought you know what that is really cool that you have something tangible you could wrap this up or put it in a card and gift it to somebody but of course there are so many other ways that you could do it I mean even my grocery store asks this time of year if you would like to donate I know Barnes and Nobles usually has a book donation program for kids in the hospital I usually like to get a couple of those books each year so look around think about it and see if there is a charity that would be meaningful to the person in your life who wants nothing. And again, you could either have like a physical gift to give to them, or you could just write it in a card that that was your gift. The second category for those who want nothing is to upgrade something they already like that they might not even be thinking, hey, I do like this. But could it be better? So you can play Santa and give them an upgrade. Now because this is an upgrade idea, some of the gifts are going to be on the pricier side. And I'm just going to rip off the band-aid with a real splurgy item. This would definitely be not for like a gift for just a, a work colleague. This would be like for your mom or your spouse like or your daughter who really just doesn't want anything that they know of, but they love to wear robes. So last year, my husband actually gifted me a robe. I asked for one from Target that was probably about $20. Well, he took the idea that I wanted this robe and he went and got me an UGG branded robe because I do like to wear UGGs in the winter. So I opened that robe on Christmas. It is very splurgy. And again, I got it from, or I linked to it from Amazon, and we're talking about $130. If you get it from the UGG website, I don't know the cost. I wanted to make sure that if you did want to get this as your like big present or big splurgy present for someone that you love, then you could get it quickly with Amazon Prime. That was the thought process there. Uh, but I wore it all Christmas Day. Like I put it on immediately. I wear this robe after like every single shower. So if you're going to spend the money, this is something that is very worth spending your money on. Next up, I was thinking about the fact that some people I know who love to play board games, they just still have these like games from a really long time ago. Maybe the boxes are even falling apart because they love them so much. So you could upgrade and get them a new version of their favorite board game. My husband loves Risk. So I instantly thought about Risk, and there's this super cool Star Wars edition. How neat is that? Or for Monopoly fans, I collected Monopoly as a little kid and always asked for a new Monopoly every year. This Disney Villains Monopoly. There are so many different versions of these classic board games. You can definitely find something for the person that you love. Now it's really important that you know the person that you're shopping for with these next couple of items because they are all things I would super appreciate getting and I know people who would appreciate them, 
but they're not going to be for everybody and that's because they're in the fitness or weights category and you know not everybody's going to love the idea of getting something fitness related for the holidays because you don't want them to think you're buying it because you think they should get into fitness so you might want to just be careful with whom you're buying for um for instance i know last year there was a peloton cycling bike commercial out that people really didn't like uh, because the husband bought it as a surprise for his wife personally if my husband had bought me a peloton bike which we did buy one later in the year together but if, if he had bought me one and surprised me with one i would have been over the moon thrilled but definitely know your audience. Um, and so the first I have for you is a set of weights. I think you can buy them individually, but you can buy different sizes. So if you know someone who really wants to either get into working out or they need to upgrade their weights because they've had the same ones forever and they're kind of gross now, this is definitely a great product. Another good thing for, you know, the home gym or for even somebody who just likes to take a lot of walks around the neighborhood, an upgraded water bottle. So I will say that my husband bought me a water bottle back when we were just dating and I thought that was kind of the stupidest gift ever. Um, I loved that he thought of me, but I was like, why did you get me a water bottle? Well, now this goes to show, know the person you're buying for. Now, if he bought me an upgraded water bottle, I'd be super psyched. So one of these Hydro Flask water bottles would be super, super cool. I definitely plan on getting one in the future and I'll probably get one for my husband too. Next up, I was thinking about my mother-in-law. She knits, she taught me how to knit. And so I was thinking you could upgrade a crafting material for a crafter. So my mother-in-law usually uses really inexpensive yarn from a local craft store. Well, I could get her really expensive yarn. And just be careful, a lot of times these really expensive yarns do come very small. So always read the fine print or the reviews. But I thought like, that would be so cool. She could make something really nice for herself or she could pass on the love and make a gift out of that expensive yarn for somebody else. Next up is buy them something they can use. A lot of times I think people who say they want nothing, they're rarely collectors. I feel like they're rarely people who are looking to build upon something they already have because as a Funko collector or a Disney pin collector, uh, even a candle collector in some kind of way, like, I always know something I want. So anybody I know says, oh, I don't want anything, they don't have a collection typically. So that's why you're not gonna see anything like Funko or plushy in this collection. So something useful. And something that came to my mind are these bamboo reusable paper towels. And again, not everybody's gonna think this is exciting, but you give this gift to the right person and they're gonna be like, oh my God, this is so cool. I, I will have to be using all these paper towels and, uh, that is, this is maybe the most perfect time to, you know, start thinking about being more useful with the resources that we have. Something else that they could use, I'm going to go back to kind of fitness, but something that people just also use for relaxation or uh, stress relief, a yoga mat. Yoga mats are a little bit pricey, guys, and I'm not putting crazy expensive ones on here. Usually I spend about $25 or so for a yoga mat, and this is a brand that I enjoy. You know what, you just sometimes need like even just a little area to stretch out. Um, as a teacher, once we go back into the classroom, I intend on having a yoga mat in my classroom so that on breaks I can just do some quick stretches. So definitely something useful. And the last would be something they can use in cooking or baking. We've definitely bought some really fancy cake pans from William Sonoma for my father-in-law who's a big baker. I thought that this sheet tray from Amazon is absolutely, this cookie sheet is gorgeous. I would love to have it. I'll probably put it on my own Christmas wish list for next year. But again, make sure that person who you're ordering it for likes to cook and or bake. This next category is very simple. It's hot sauce. I know so many people who love hot sauce and there are just so many kinds out there, right? So I looked around, I asked for some recommendations and what I def decided to include in here is a pack of Secret Aardvark hot sauce. Now this definitely has some kick to it, but my husband who loves him some super hot hot sauce. Um, he said he didn't find that this bad at all and really for him it was just a nice tasty one and he said it was like mild. I probably wouldn't trust that and if you're a hot sauce wimp this is probably not the way to go. But if you want a recommendation for a tasty hot sauce for someone that maybe they haven't tried before or they're already a hot sauce lover, there you go. 
The next category are candies and chocolates, but not just any candies or chocolates. You know, one time my fa one of my favorite Christmas gifts many years ago was John got me a really expensive box of Godiva truffles and he gave it to me, I think maybe about two weeks before Christmas. And part of the gift was I got to open it before Christmas and then every night we would pick out like one or two and we would taste them and taste test them. So that could also be like a fun idea, but I wanted to give you something really kind of out of the box. So the first, I have this spicy Aztec hot chocolate. Like, okay, you might know someone who likes hot chocolate, but do they like spicy hot chocolate? That would kind of be a neat thing to try. Um, I will say that I don't have them linked or anything, but there are like the world's hottest gummy bears, the world's hottest chocolate bar, super hot beef jerky. Like there's a hot version of like anything you can pretty much think of. So, you know, be on the lookout for that if you know someone likes hot stuff. The next product is candy, but it's not just any candy, it's retro candy. And you can get a box customized to a specific decade, uh, ranging even been like I think to like the early to mid 1900s and you know if you're gonna give that to somebody who grew up during that time that might really bring a smile to their face finally for this category chocolate but I mean not just Hershey's for us in America we don't always get to have super delicious European chocolate which is kind of better <laughs> I think at least. So you can get a whole sampler of this Cadbury chocolate. I definitely love Cadbury. There are tons of other great European chocolates out there. Give them a shot. I think this would be really fun for a sweets lover. Next up, you could always get somebody alcohol, whether it's a nice bottle of wine, a little pricier than they might normally splurge on themselves, or whether it's the idea I'm going to present to you. A lot of people like to have a drink, especially around the holidays. So I used to work at a school where we did a, um, like a white elephant exchange every Christmas, just the teachers in my grade. And we had a bunch of people who enjoyed some cocktails. So I put together a box that I thought people would like. And I called it the Holiday Survival Kit. And so when they opened it up, it had different little cocktail glasses in there. And inside each cocktail glass was a mini bottle of soda, as well as on the side, miniature alcohol bottles. So like maybe like a little um, a vodka bottle and then a soda that would mix with it. That's probably a bad example. Like a Coca-Cola bottle, like a mini one, and then a mini uh, Captain Jack goes together a lot better. And so I put together some classic flavor combinations and the person who opened it was like, okay, no one's allowed to steal this, um, it's mine. And they just put it aside and they wouldn't let anybody steal it. So that's kind of a cute idea. And so you could obviously go out to the liquor store and get some miniature bottles and here are some really cute cocktail glasses that you could pair with it they look super unique i think they're beautiful and so you can get a set or maybe four depending on if you think they would share the glasses with other people next up what do you get for the person who wants nothing get something for their pet we love our pets you know we're pet moms and dads and we don't always buy the newest things for our pets. You know, you could get a new pet bowl, a pet bowl mat. We have bought our in-laws a, a really cute basket to put their dog toys in so that the dog toys weren't over everywhere. You could get them a really nice canister to put treats in. So what I'm gonna share with you is something I actually bought for my cats this year and it came in. It's this from Amazon, this catnip filled banana. And I was like, I don't know if they're gonna like it because sometimes my cats are hit or miss with toys. So I put it to the side um, and the cats got into that room and they started rolling around on this banana, loving it. And it was still in the plastic. So I said, I told my husband, he goes, well, clearly we have to order another one since we have two cats. So in their stocking right now are two bananas. I can't really help all those dog people out there, but you know, dog treats type them in Amazon. Another thing to get for the person who wants nothing is just something ridiculous. So earlier I did, I had something useful. Get them something nobody needs. Because even if they use it once or twice and get a kick out of it, that's okay. They didn't need it and they just had some fun with it for a while. And sometimes that's all we can ask for is to put a temporary smile on somebody's face. So I came up with this s'mores maker. I think it looks hysterical and also just adorable, especially if they have family with them for the holidays. This could be 
something that they could use on Christmas Eve, make their s'mores, make sure to get them the s'more ingredients. But there are other things like this, popcorn maker, cotton candy maker, ice cream maker. Ice cream maker might be a little bit more intense. Maybe give them something that's a little bit less challenging. But give them something cute, you know what I mean? Like above an easy bake oven, but below an ice cream maker. The s'mores maker. I also saw a caramel apple maker that looked hilarious. Next up to get the person who wants nothing, socks. And these could be exercise socks, like the ones I have here. I know a bunch of people who run, and something I've always intended to get for them are these specific runner socks. They're supposed to be awesome for runners. Or you could go the fun route. And I do have a pair of men's specific socks here, but of course Amazon has tons and tons and tons of options. They are Stormtrooper socks. I don't know a single man who wouldn't like to get these. So something that people don't think about necessarily always buying for themselves, socks. Just don't get them for kids. Next up, another time where you really need to think, will a person <laughs> appreciate this or they think I'm asking them to do something for me? Cookbooks. I, for instance, will buy my brother-in-law cookbooks, but his wife, my sister, no chance in heck I would ever buy her a cookbook. So definitely make sure you're getting them for someone who enjoys cooking um, or potentially is starting a new diet journey. So the first two cookbooks I'm gonna share with you are two of my faves and I've given both of these as gifts. I own both of these. And the first one is Chrissy Teigen's Cravings. She also has a second cookbook. I think it's called more cravings or cravings for more or something. The uh, photos in this book are gorgeous and the recipes are really amazing. There's just like a basic roast turkey or roast chicken recipe that I swear by. So really cool things in there. And then anything by the Pioneer Woman, but specifically this book of um, it's like a year of what you could make on holidays. Well, you just took the guesswork and the let's scroll through Pinterest for 17 hours to figure out what I want to make on Mother's Day on 4th of July for this uh, barbecue in the summer for Thanksgiving for Valentine's Day etc there you go you gave them a guide plan for the whole year now for about four and a half years John and I have followed a ketogenic diet it so works for us and we have a bunch of keto cookbooks that I absolutely love so if you know someone who is either starting a new like diet journey and they need a lot of ideas or if they've been following it for a long time and you want to say hey I know that this fits you and you might not have the easiest time finding recipes like I got you I've had people give us paleo cookbooks which is super close to keto honestly so sometimes you can even find things um, that that work or that you can adopt and it meant a lot to me that they took the time to, to think about us and like our dietary restrictions and our dietary needs and how we eat and um, you know they thought hey I think that this will work specifically for them I thought that was super kind and um, really memorable honestly so I'm gonna share with you two of my favorite keto cookbooks the first is an author I just I swear by all of her books I have a bunch of them but this is keto restaurant favorites and it breaks it down into like Italian favorites and Chinese food favorites and different things and I've made a bunch of the recipes and they're yummy the second is a newer to me uh, cookbook called keto for foodies I am so obsessed with this cookbook. It has brought me back to pizza. I haven't, I really didn't eat pizza for a long time, obviously being low carb. So I make a low carb pizza from time to time that is just to die for. It also gave me ways I could make like keto nachos. Okay, I could go on and on. I won't, but I got this for my friend Melissa for my birthday last year and I absolutely love it. So I'd love for you to either get it for yourself or someone that you know who follows a ketogenic diet. The next category of a gift to get for some, someone who wants nothing is for the sentimentalist. And so this person, they might not want too many things, you know, they want memories and experiences. So take one of their memories in photograph form and put it on a personalized ornament. Now, John and I usually get a personalized ornament every year that we like do something special for the holidays or um, for like our fifth wedding anniversary, which was in December a few years ago, we had a special photo shoot. So that year I put a photo shoot picture and an ornament. And so we always get it from Snapfish because there are really good deals, but I found a way you could do it on Amazon. It might be a little bit pricier, but then, you know, you'll get it on time for the holidays. So you kind of have to weigh that, right? 
The next category of gifts for people who want nothing, give them something nostalgic. I hit on that with a decade specific candy earlier, but like it's just something that's going to put a smile on your face. Like, oh, I remember that. Like that makes us all feel so good and warm and fuzzy inside, right? And that's the feeling you want on Christmas. So there are like, I could probably do an entire gift guide on nostalgia and maybe I'll do that next year. But I picked out two things that made me feel pretty nostalgic and would probably work for people um, in their like late 20s to late 30s maybe maybe a little bit older depending um, and so the first are these NES like game um, coasters so you could see like Mario Brothers there I am a little bit too young for the NES um, but I still know what it is and I still played some of those classic games so I'm more of like the original PlayStation Xbox era I guess <laughs> but I definitely know people who had NESs in their house and I just think this would put a smile on a lot of faces. And then the next thing would be, okay, bear with me here, but I know my friend Katie is going to be like, yes, Dunkaroos. This is probably, other than the catnip toy, probably the cheapest item on this list, but do you remember Dunkaroos? Did your mom put Dunkaroos in your lunch when you were a kid? Did you have a way of eating Dunkaroos? I would like eat just the cookies until there were only a few left so that I could get more icing on each individual cookie. That was my strategy. Did you make like Dunkaroo sandwiches? What I'm saying is that we have strong feelings about Dunkaroos, you know? So get them something that again was from their childhood. It just makes people so excited. They didn't even know they wanted it. <laughs> and finally, before we go into our two advent calendars, calendars, the last category, and possibly the smartest one of them all, to get for the person who wants nothing, nothing. Take them at their word. Some people really don't care. Some people really want nothing or they just want the joy of spending time with you. And right now that might be a little bit difficult, but it's an idea to take forward with you in life. My grandmother came to my mind when I made up this category and we always struggled with what to get her because my grandmother was that person who wanted nothing. For a while she wanted chocolate and she didn't really want chocolate anymore. My mom even one year got us an entire photo shoot with all the grandkids and my grandmother's kind of like, that's nice. She's just like nothing really excites her. There's nothing she wants. She wouldn't want probably anything on this list. She is just a very simple living person and she just doesn't want anything. Like even if we got her like a brand new TV, she'd probably be like, what was wrong with my old TV? She wouldn't want an upgrade. So for a few, a few years ago, she said, just don't get me anything. And we said, you know what? Okay. And now we don't, but on Christmas, barring this year, we spend time together and maybe give extra hugs and extra love, but we don't do gifts anymore. And we actually stopped doing gifts with John's siblings as well because they started having kids and it just, it kind of got to be big and big and big. And we realized that not doing gifts amongst us adults on his side of the family just made everything so much less stressful, I think on everybody's like shoulders. So if somebody says, no, oh, really don't get me anything, they might not want to get you something too. It might be a great thing to start introducing for certain people in your life. <laughs> I couldn't have imagined that when I was like a teenager, but now that I am in my thirties, I can definitely appreciate that there are certain people you can agree to just stop the gift giving process and just give the gift of your time and your happiness. So that's it guys. Though all of those are my ideas, at least this year, because somebody did suggest this gift guide in my comments on a previous gift guide. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I loved that idea. I came up with these ideas like super fast. So maybe I'll even do this again next year. More gifts to give the person who wants nothing. Let me know what you thought about this. And again, put your own suggestions down below. Let's go to our advent calendars. The first being the ornament. All right, 15th ornament of the season. What's it going to be? I'm really getting picky, I guess, in here. What's next? What are you? <gasps> Yay! Okay. Uh, talk about nostalgia. This is well before I was born this came out. Lady and the Tramp. But I will say that there's some nostalgia here for like my husband because he used to watch Lady and the Tramp a lot as kids. And like, so we even have plushes that, um, 
he bought for me just because of his nostalgia. So nostalgia makes people happy, right? <laughs> this is gorgeous. It's Lady and the Tramp. I don't, it doesn't look like this year I got it, it was celebrating any specific anniversary. This is a movie like animation style wise is so old but it really holds up i'm very impressed by this movie and its visuals and we have their um their date at tony's this is one of the most gorgeous ornaments i've ever seen i think let me know what you think Obviously, I, I have a whole lot of tree left, but I want to make sure to be, that I'm putting these in places you guys can see. So I might always, for the rest of the month, be adjusting them as needed. Maybe we can try right here. Okay, I think you can probably see their little puppy faces. And then we have Karen's Advent Calendar Day 3. Okay, really cute packaging. The attention to detail that Karen puts into everything is really remarkable. I just got a Harry Potter box from her that I don't know when I'm going to be opening it since I have my Vlogmas content coming out, but I can't wait. Like, it's burning a hole in my house, if you know what I mean. Okay, let's see what we have. It feels soft. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this actually came inside that really nice 101 Dalmatians cosmetic box bag from day one and it's 101 Dalmatians cozy socks so again what do you get for the person who has everything socks are always good as long as you're a certain age there's a certain age where you hit the point where you're like oh I don't want socks oh grandma got me socks for Christmas to like socks yes it happens to all of us that's how you know you're not cool anymore <laughs> sorry to tell you just kidding I think it's cool That is it for day 15 of Vlogmas. I can't believe we only have, you know, 10 videos left. Like what? And I still have one more gift guide to bring to you guys and it's gonna be appropriately last minute gifts. What do I get someone at the last minute? So, and it's all gonna be from Amazon. <laughs> I already have a lot of cool things picked out. I can't wait to share it with you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Can't wait to read your comments below and I'll see you real soon.